Yo, what's up? Um, I did. I was gonna schedule a live stream for the this morning for the morning, but I I just had a little live session with the family, uh, so you guys can go back and check that laugh. You know, check out some of the plays if you guys want. Uh, but for those who can't, you know, check that live out. But going forward, I will be you know doing lives in the morning every day. I think that's the most effective right there. So. Um, just a brief rundown. Not going to talk about a lot of the chalky plays that, you know, it's out across the industry, but I'll talk about a few plays that I like. Um, haven't went through a few sides, whatever the case may be. I haven't went through all the sides. Uh, but, you know, everything I do here coincides with prize picks, fan duel, you know, the books, same game parlays, just everything, okay? So, uh, you know, you know, if, you, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, man. Come through. Kick your feet up, you know, talk some smack, you know, t you know, it is what it is. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna talk about some, I'm talking about some value right now. Uh, so you know, some of these lines can move, and some of these, some of these players, you know, uh ladder spots, all right. They they're in ladder spots. Um, so uh first game, first first play I want to talk about here is uh we know uh uh, uh um is um <clears throat> Dennis Schroeder. All right, so I like the matchup for Dennis Schroeder. Uh, I just, I just don't know. I just wonder who they're gonna put on him. I got a feeling they're gonna put uh, Brooks on him, but I'll still stick a task stab at him at his points at a uh, four ten and a half, and or either or his threes. Um, threes <clears throat> so his three ain't out right now i couldn't talk you off desmond bain threes uh malik beasley threes but uh the 14 and a half points um i got a strong lean towards the over there and uh you could you could also look at his uh points and uh assists okay points and assists sitting at uh, what is it? That's rebounds and assists. His points and assists is sitting at 22 and a half, okay? Now, these corn skies with prize picks and everything, okay? I just think, you know, the usage is going to be there, all right? No no LeBron, no um, uh, D'Angelo Russell. Yes, uh, to uh, the usage should be there for Dennis Schroeder. Okay, I like John Morant too. Chicago Bulls at Toronto Raptors two twenty and a half over under in this spot. Um, just saving all the small talk, talk, man. One thing I do know, and I always preach, you know, Nikola Vucevic. He's not that big bang bang center. You know, you know, he he's not gonna get to the free throw line often and things of that nature. So for those reasons, uh I don't see any way a pathway to foul trouble for somebody like Yaka Perto. So uh, I like the rebounds for him at eight and a half. Uh couldn't mind don't mind you taking it up to 10 at plus 120. If you're feeling froggy you could go up to 12, you know, and I couldn't talk you off the double double. You'll get a double double for him at plus 200, okay? So uh, I, I like these numbers for him. He'll go out there and throw a few dimes. Wouldn't talk you off his fancy score or any of these numbers that coincide with uh, prize picks, okay? So his double-double, you'll get a double-double for Yaka Perto at plus 200, all right? Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> Milwaukee Bucks at Brooklyn Nets. I'm torn on the props right now. Like I said, two of the best shot blockers in the league and Brooke Lopez and uh, – and uh, Nick Claxton couldn't talk you off neither one of their blocks. You could get his they blocks right now on prize picks. Uh, both of these guys are averaging two and a half blocks. I mean, on uh, uh DraftKings, both of these guys are averaging two and a half blocks a piece. Uh, you'll get their blocks at one and a half. Uh, you'll get a better number for Lopez at minus 125. Nick Claxton at minus 165. Excuse me. Excuse me. And uh, as far as the side in this one here, 
Milwaukee Bucks, man, I can't step in front of that train. If you think they're gonna bust them up, then I, I would, hey, I would take the spread up some more. You know what I'm saying? I just, I know, I, I, I think Milwaukee gonna lose the game soon. They might lose to a team like this. I think they've won between 12 and 14 games straight. Don't get me, don't get me the lying, but I don't want to step in front of that train. All right. And you'll get a you'll get them right now, even at the parlay piece at a minus two fifteen. Um, yeah, Bobby Portis is back, and ABC should be playing. Right, yeah, I like I like Milwaukee. Washington Wizards at Atlanta Hawks here two thirty three and a half over under. Shout out to uh, Daniel Gafford; he got there for me for a double double last game, and um. I don't think I'll be going to that this game. However, uh, <clears throat> I like the double double for Trey Young is a double double candidate. I mean, you're gonna get a plus one thirty for Clint Capella double double. Here's the thing, though, man. Like his minutes have been all over the place. Like, what's up with this, man? I mean, I just don't understand. I don't know. He played 19 minutes, had 12 rebounds and six points versus Brooklyn. Um, 21 minutes versus Cleveland, four rebounds, 10 points. Like, the minutes allotment is frustrating. So, if you don't want to go to his double double, I can see you get to his. I can see you get to his rebound prop, which is sitting at uh, 10 and a half. At plus money, it's just so fishy, but I'm going there, okay? So my first play would probably be, it would probably be the 10 and a half, over 10 and a half, and I would probably sprinkle some on the uh, double-double as well. Yep. I mean, it is what it is. And then, you know he's a robo-rebounder. You could go up to 12 if you want. You could go up to 14 if you're feeling froggy. <laughs> I mean, it just is what it is. Now, um, so I, I, that's another play that I like. So, um, the usage now, the usage should be there for guys like, uh, you know, Kuzma and uh, Bill. I like the spot that Bill is in. Uh, Morris didn't play last game, so you know, you could probably get some, um, Uh, DeLon Wright might get the start. He played 28 minutes last game. Pretty good defender, you know, so he could be, you know, they could use him for defensive purposes on trade. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that sums it up right there. Um, Sacramento Kings, Oklahoma City Thunder here. Um, you know, no SGA, um, Fox is questionable. I, he's probably going to end up being out. Uh, I'm looking at the three ball here. This is a rematch, okay? Uh, you can use this as a parlay piece for Lugens Dort. Uh, he shot, he hit four out of the nine threes last game. So you can ladder his threes up. You'll get three threes for plus 165. If you think he can hit four more, you get four for uh, plus 450. But right now, I know it's juiced up. I'm just pointing this out as a parlay piece. All right, uh, minus 196 as a parlay piece, uh, two threes. Denver Nuggets at Houston Rockets. Right now, um, J uh, Joker's, his, uh, his, his triple-double probably minus 110 by now. Minus 105. Last time I checked, Alpha Shangoon triple double was plus four thousand. Now it's plus three. Some money been coming in on that. So triple double is not out of the realm of possibilities for him. You know he's averaging a triple double, and uh, Jalen Green and uh, I forget the other the guard name. They uh, Jalen Green is playing tomorrow though. Kevin Porter Jr. is questionable. I, I probably don't want nothing to do with this. And then um, Jamal Murray is questionable. I'm leaning towards him being out probably. I mean, I just, you know, if you're going to be questionable, why play versus this team? Gordon is probable. 
So, man, I might, you know, I'm probably just going to take, I didn't even take a stab at it earlier. It was plus money. I'm probably about to take a stab at this minus 105 for a triple-double for Joker right now. Uh, oh, tr- why would I take a triple-double when I could take a triple-double and a win? Right. Right. Don't that make sense, y'all? They probably not even offering that. All right, you know, uh, Houston Rockets, they tanking. And, you know, they're giving up points and uh, they're giving up uh, st- statistics in almost every category. Man, I, I don't want to talk about this game. I do not. You know, three ball is in play. Everything is in play. Uh, same thing with this Indiana Pacers game, Dallas Mavericks game. I'm going to like this game for same game parlays. I think they're going to be letting the three ball fly. I just don't know. Uh, I just don't know, man. You know, it's it's a matter of time for Luca, you know, before Luca, you know, hits that triple double, you know. So his assists and everything is in play. They steady surround him with these mediocre three point shooters. What it is, what it is. All right, uh, Dallas Mavericks are 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 uh, you know they they in trouble in the paint. You know they're pretty small, but I can't talk you off a lot of things here for this one here. I don't have not one definite problem. Maybe Lucas assists, but uh, you know I couldn't talk you off Halliburton's assists. Um, you know, probably the, one of the most consistent props is on the board is going to be the over three and a half threes for Buddy Hill. It's that's an automatic strong lean. You know, that's that's an automatic strong lean. You see the thumbnail. Um, San Antonio Spurs at Utah Jazz, 235 and a half over under. And it's Taylor Horton Tucker for me, all right? It's a lot for me, to tell you the truth. Uh, I have interest in um, Kelly Olenek points, too, at 13 and a half with no, um, with no uh, Clarkson, okay? Kessler, double-double candidate, uh, fancy score candidate. Uh you know, seven blocks, five blocks. This is a rematch. And like I said, with Kevin, uh, Telling Horton Tucker, you know, uh, I, uh, his point props juiced up at 17 and a half. I couldn't talk you off of it, though. And then uh, I was really looking at his rebounds and assists. Uh, in this matchup, looking at his rebounds and assists, sitting at uh, 11 and a half at plus 104, I like that too. All right? I like a lot about this game. I'm not going to keep rambling. Um, major uh, honorable mention is going to be uh, Agbaji, Agbayi, or Agbaji. I don't know how you uh, pronounce his name for the Utah Jazz. Probably gonna get the start. Uh, I like, you know, I, hey, he said multiple threes in four straight games. Uh, and you know, you know, he's uh, uh, he's had double digit in three straight, double digit points in three straight. Okay, live betting candidate, whatever you want to do with that, whatever, however you want to think about it. All right, uh, you know this Minnesota Timberwolves game and this Los Angeles Clippers game, and then this Portland Trail Blazers and this and this, and this uh, Golden State Warriors game. You guys don't need me. I mean, come on, man. Do you need me for this game? If Rudy Gobert is playing, yes, I like it. I like Rudy Gobert's rebounds. If uh, if uh, you know, if I like, I like uh, I'm gonna have some interest. Let's see, I don't know how they're gonna play this because Draymond Green is back. I'm going to have some interest in Looney's rebounds. I'm probably just gonna fall back off of they re- off his rebounds. I don't know. We'll see. He's had 13 rebounds, better I think in five or six straight games. Six straight, I think. Um, I I, I hit on him like four games straight. I preach on, I preach it all the time. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. Damian Lillard, three-point prop is sitting at five and a half. Clay's three-point prop is sitting at five and a half. I would love to see these guys duke it out because everybody's been having a pool party, but where the fuck is pool at, all right? With that being said, peace out, guys. Bang.